Yeah. Mm. There it is. You can hear it. Love it. Folks at the Rich Theater and Museum say get ready to party like it's 1999. And the party is going to go all month long to celebrate the Ritz anniversary. That's right. Stacey Aubrey and Adonica Toller are here to help talk That's about right. the celebration. I'm excited. Ritz is one of my favorite places. I've been lucky enough to go over and shoot a couple of videos, so we're excited to have you guys on. Such Thank a great you. place. Thank you. Thank you. Excited to be here. Well, tell us a little bit about the history of the Ritz. Well, the original Ritz was built in 1929, and it was a movie theater. Um, and once uh, desegregation came into play, the neighborhood went down. And around 1999, it was rebuilt to the structure that we have now, and a museum was added. So we have uh, performances in our theater, and we have a local mu uh, the museum that focused on our local African American history. I think it's really cool, and some of the things, and you obviously know this, so this is going to seem like, what do you mean people don't know this? You know the history of the Ritz Theater, the history of Jacksonville. People don't understand the history of the Ritz Theater and why it's such a big deal uh, to have that here, and the, and the, the the milestone type things that happened at the Ritz Theater over the years. Um, for those who, who haven't been there, tell them, tell them why the Ritz Theater is such an important part of our city. Um, it's because it does represent the rich African American culture that is here in, in, the, in the region. Um, and the museum talks about people who lived here. So when you walk in and you see the information, and in fact, most of the artifacts that you see have been donated to us by people in the community. So people bring in their family to say, oh, here's mother's piano. Um, here's Bob Hayes track shoes. So um, we got Bob Hayes track we shoes have, in there? We yeah. have Bob Hayes track shoes. And they shoes. just featured him recently. Yeah, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we have cool. Bob Hayes track but shoes. The great thing about the museum, though, too, you bring in new exhibits. You bring in new awesome. exhibits as well. Right. And what's the current exhibit? Um, right now, we did uh, the commemorative anniversary of the um, Axe Handle Saturday. Um, we did something Saturday and have something special coming in a couple of weeks. Um, I should get a finalization today. Whether or not it's coming, I'm not going to tell you. But what, it's is really it? what is special. it? What is it? No, 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 no. <laughs> but I have something special coming in, um, and it and that organ that exhibit is connected to us because we're connected to this organization. But I'm not going to tell you that. Clues, clues, so it's his, no, 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 no it's clues. Blues, clues. No Remember? clues. I'm going to hit her up as soon as. <laughs> As soon as the segment's because over, of, I'm going to go, Adonis, um, no. Because it, um, if I give you clues, people will know. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So All it's right. not like a clue. Maybe not thing. us. But I'll share. But anyway, but we really talk about the people who are from Jacksonville. And Jacksonville's African-American history is international history. When you talk about Bob Hayes. That's right. And not only was his impact in the track, but if you, those of you who love football. NFL. Every time you hear um, zone defense, think oh, yeah. Bob Hayes. because he started, that. he started that. because they were trying to stop Bob Hayes. And wow. so um, James Wally Johnson. Earth the White. Yeah. All these people are internationally known and respected. I get calls all the time with someone who's doing research on them. And so Jacksonville history is just amazing. And so we're help celebrating that and preserving that history. And we give tours just to schools. Yeah. We have a program with the with Duval County and abroad. So um, kids and that's that's one of our goals is to make sure that we get kids who live right. in Jacksonville. They don't have any, any idea, idea about how much history we have right here in Jacksonville. Right, yeah. And even just the neighborhood itself, we're so fortunate that that the city, you know, got behind it and, and right. is really helping to keep yeah. this building thriving and alive. Yeah. It's great. And we're celebrating like we played the music there like it's 1999, the reopen, uh, 18 years since reopen. What are some of the, as we finish up here, some details of the, the celebrations for the anniversary? Well, um, we first, ha well, tonight, let me just say, it's we have our um, infamous uh, amateur night. We have putting on the Ritz tonight. Mm -hmm. So tonight, um, every month, we have local uh, celebrities, I like to call them. <laughs> Kids and adults come in and try their luck, and we give out prizes, and you can get booed by the adults, and we have judges for the kids. I still want to MC that one night. It, we would love to have it. you, although Rockman is, you know, know. he, has, he does take ownership of it, but it is so much fun. If My ever, kids love to go, it's family there. friendly. If he's ever out right. and he calls in I, sick. Curtis, you're on the list. I would love, I'd love to host an open mic. You're on so the fun. list, I promise. It's great. It is. It's so much fun. So we do have that tonight. Um, at 7.30, and then uh, September 16th is our first concert of the season, and it is Raul Midon, and he is a um, amazing... German? No. No. <laughs> Funny, he's actually from New Mexico. Way off. Yes. <laughs> he's from New Mexico. Way off. But uh, and did I, I had a good accent, right? Raul Midon. It was great. Um, he's blind. He's blind. Blind since birth. And he was here. The city brought him for one of our jazz festivals, but he was born blind. Uh, he is 
jazz, a little R&B. He, he kind of covers all the spectrum. Amazing. He is good. Wow. And he had a great following mm -hmm. back in a couple years ago when he was for Jazz Festival. So he's we're coming at, back. We're out of time, but uh, where can they go to get all the information for all the celebrations? Jacksevets.com. We have a special for 1999. If you say Ritz 1999, all tickets in the month except for tonight of September are $19.99. Cool. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Have fun at the celebration. Coming up.